Orlando Pirates of South Africa Sunday night qualified for the final of this year's competition after a 2 1 aggregate win over Aheli Tripoli, while RS Bakin outclassed TB Mazembe 4 2 on aggregate. The two teams will now battle for the coveted CAF Competitions Cup trophy on Friday in Rio de Aquabom State Capital. The venue for the Continental Football Match, Gasville Aquabom International Stadium, is already wearing a new look as the grassmen and those in charge of the maintenance are walking around the clock to ensure that the stadium is ready for the match. The grass is lush green and in top shape ahead of the CAF Competitions Cup match coming up here on Friday. And the fans in New York are eagerly waiting for the two teams that will battle in the final. The stadium, which has hosted many international matches, will be the first stadium in Nigeria to host the final of CAF Confederations Cup. The fans are excited that CAF has selected the edifice to host the historic final of the Continental Interclub Competition, expressing the hope that more of such competitions will be played in Nigeria. It is a thing of joy for us that the African continent will come to Aquaibo, at least for that day. It shows that we are growing in terms of sport facility. Everybody will now know that sport in Aquaibom has come to reside. We have an edifice that, that can match up with other international stadia. So that is just as Aquaibomite, I'm very proud. I expect the Aquaibom State Government, the Ministry of Vita and of course, the Nigerian Football Federation to see how they can market the match, you know, publicize it so that, you know, these are things that will begin to cause interest, developing, cause us develop interest in sporting activities. As you can see, maintenance and cleaning are still ongoing ahead of Friday's CAF Competition Cup match between RS Bakken of Morocco and Orlando Paris of South Africa. The fans in New York here are eagerly waiting for the two teams to come and battle for honors. From Gosselakwebi International Stadium, Uyo, John Paul Alumona, NTA News.